Hey kids, on today's episode, we'll be unboxing the Star Wars Vintage Collection Slave One. So join me on today's episode of Hyperspace Hijinks. So today I have the Vintage Collection Star Wars Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett Slave 1. Um, if you look at the box here, you can see that it's kind of reminiscent of the old Kenner toy line from, I guess this would be 1980, which I did have. Um, from what I understand, though, this is the, the third sort of third or fourth, depending on how you want to say it, third or fourth iteration. The original iteration back from the 80s, and then there was probably a reissue back when they had Powers of the Force, somewhere along that line, like 80 or 90s version. And then there was the most recent one, which was like a smaller version of it. This version should be a little bit bigger than both because the cockpit on this one actually holds like three figures, whereas the original one only held one. Um, but we'll see because I have not seen this. It also does come with a display stand so you can actually display it upright because it's very hard to display this thing in flight mode because it's like that, not like that. Anyway, uh, looking at the box again, you can see that it's kind of made up like the old toy, except you can see the Hasbro and Disney thing and then, you know, Star Wars Vintage Collection. Um, let's take a look at the top here. Here you can see uh, there's a storage space for Han Solo and Carbonite. The back, you can kind of see a little more detail. Uh, you see the engines, and I believe there's a sonic charge, so that's kind of cool. And then in the cockpit, you can see that there's room for more figures. What else we got here? You can see that it's so diorama looks like the side opens up, which I believe you can also do in the original toy. Um, but let's open this, shall we? ASMR. See, pretty good size. I wish I kind of had my original one, but I did give it away to some relatives in the Philippines, um, but that's okay. Um, let's see the body here. Let's see. Got a pouch with look like console and carbonites in here and the wing flaps and part of the guns on there. This is the canopy. Yeah, that's the canopy. Looks like the display thing. Yeah, awesome. Slave one itself. So you can see it's pretty good sized. Like I said, it has other three um, places for the uh, for figures. Um, here's the back of it. Very detailed. Get a little bit closer up there. Like that on the side. And it looks like there's a hinge here, so you can probably open this up. What does a little button do? I don't know what that does yet. Here we go. Look inside. And if the old toy, this part opened up as well. Looks like you can do that. So you can kind of do the side thing with walking up, but it doesn't actually go anywhere. I think this slides out open in the in the movie. That's weird. So there's another canopy that goes down like this. I think that's where you can put Han Solo. So a little odd, but hey, 
definitely got a lot more detailing on it, I think, than the original toy. And I'm still, like, I'm pretty sure it's bigger. Like, I'm pretty sure it's quite substantial. Um, be interesting when I get the Razor Crest to see how big this is against that. So let's put this together. What we got in these packages. Displacement, the display stand is pretty cool. So you'll see it like this. Uh, it has a, uh, oops, the Mandalorian symbol on there. Surprised it doesn't have FET, the FET symbol on there, which is a little bit different. Not really sure what this does. It does fit together. I don't know, maybe I'll read the instructions. It's on the other pouches. Instruction booklet, definitely the canopy. Here are the instructions. Oh, there are some stickers, so get those. That'll be fun. I'm terrible at putting on stickers. I don't have steady hands. Some instructions. Let's take a look at the third pouch, which has all the other stuff. It's one of the wing flaps. This part kind of hinges. It's kind of cool. The other one. Here's Han Solo in carbonite. A little more detail on it uh, than the original one. Original one thinks it's one piece, uh, same color. This one, you can see it's a little bit of two-tone. Uh, it's got that kind of matte gray with a shiny gray for the carbonite section. Um, the Razor Crest is going to come with a bunch of these. So I wonder if it's going to be the same kind of look, where they all kind of look the same. It'll be kind of cool and the same size. Um, it was one of the stretch goals for the Razor Crest, which got funded in like no time. Luckily, I got in on that one because I learned my lesson from not getting this um, Java's sail barge, which I still regret not getting. My only reason for not getting was because I'm like, where am I going to put a four foot long sail barge? The correct answer is wherever, just have one. Storage. One day you'll have enough, or you'll make room for it. Uh, looks like these are the side guns. And I think two projectile missiles. And this is cool, the sonic charges. So you get two of them, which I think is still one of the coolest uh, sound effects in Star Wars. All right, let's actually follow directions because who knows if I'm gonna miss something. Like there's really not much to it. There you go. That looks cool. The old one, I think, just this part came out, this, uh, which I always lost. So, because I was, a kid, I was a kid and I played with it. When you play with things, sometimes you put them away, especially they don't. Like the little hinges are always kind of wonky at best, or probably broke or something. In the original toy, there was like a handle back here with a trigger that you can do, you can move the, the, uh, the wings. And then, I think also on the original toy that these kind of move together. That thing is independent right here. Pretty sure I'm going to launch these missiles as something. If you can see, look at the cockpit. It's hard to tell, but the cockpit actually moves. Here, it's even a top view. It actually kind of moves with the thing. That's kind of awesome. 
just realized, is there no Boba Fett figure in this? Do I need to buy a Boba Fett? No, nope. let's click on going to Hasbro.com or something to find a Boba Fett. Because you need a Boba Fett for this, right? Or a Django a Boba Fett for this one. And the Sonic charges go in here. Let's see there. Let's go in that little slot. A little button on the side you can kind of loosen it. And then if you want to drop them. All right, so according to this, this goes inside here. Um, so this is supposed to slide out like so. And this comes down. Let's see, this slides out, this slides in. And somehow this goes in there. Oh, I think that's his escape pod. That's what goes there. All right, let's start putting the stickers on. I hate stickers. Oh, I see where. I see where Han goes. He goes in here. There you go. Sure. Like I said, I am bad at stickers. Is that where it goes? I'm not quite positive. Like, do I need tweezers to do this? Two down, four to go. Yikes. Four and five go where? That doesn't make no sense. Where is this going? Ow. You know, I feel like these stickers actually serve no actual purpose. What's funny is it has stickers ready inside. And then these ones go way inside here where my fingers don't even like fit. <laughs> you see my falcon inside? Stickers look horrible. But at least it was a little bit easier to get into than this. So whoever comes to my place and actually sees this in person, I apologize now for you can see how bad the interior stickers are. Anyway, there you go. Whee! I guess it just goes like oh. voila. So here's the display stand. Whoa, whoa. That's well, kind of cool. You can have it on display. So all in all, it's pretty hefty compared to my noggin. See, I got a big head. I don't have any figures to put in there because I'm awesome. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this. It'd be kind of cool once I get the Razor Crest and have them both together. And I need to find a Boba Fett figure. So thank you for joining me. If you like this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe to the channel. If you have not, join us every week-ish on the channel for the live Castles, Capes, and Clones podcast where we talk about everything in Disney Universe, Disney, Marvel, Star Wars news. Um, we do also a kind of breakdown, deep dive into all the Marvel and Star Wars shows. Uh, usually every Friday-ish, depending on when the shows are. Um, and I shall return with other unboxings and bring my cooking show back, Castles, Capes, and Clones Cuisine. So until then, may the force be with you. Thank you.